Hi everyone. I'm uh, just playing around with uh, some coils as usual and magnets and this is something that I quickly put together probably a lot less than an hour's work. Um, I, what I have here is a little ferrite uh, coil that has a very fine wire on it and uh, that has an inductance of about uh, 78, 78 millihenries and that's something that I took out of a uh, I think that was a CRT monitor, computer monitor. Anyways, I just thought I'd put that together and some magnets and a little reed switch there to uh, get the thing on, turn on and off. And uh, I'm getting in some interesting results. And I thought, well, this is video worthy. So um, this is a platter of a hard drive uh, disc. And uh, using that to have, you know, a good quality bearing. Um, so let's look at the voltage that I'm pumping through there. I've got 2.8 volts and that's a weak uh, 3 volt battery that I'm using and we're drawing 14 uh, milliamps and uh, the motor is in a attraction mode meaning the magnets are attracted to the core, the ferrite core here and um, as soon as the magnet gets to about top dead center the reed kicks in and the current in the coil will actually nullify the field or create you know a uh, less of an attraction to the magnet well remove the attraction basically and allow the magnet to pass and then shut off the coil and again the next magnet is again attracted to the coil so basically in an attraction motor and uh, what I'm finding that's uh, interesting in this motor is I'm kind of getting a very similar uh, clean uh, pulse that uh, they are also getting with the Orbo and here's the duration period here of nothing and here is when the coil is pulsed and there it is on and if you look at the top perfectly straight and shut off and I've got a uh, flyback diode that's actually ca capturing the flyback and um, that's on this meter here and we've got about seven, uh, 6.76 volts across on this uh, 60 microfarad cap and I've got a 10k ohm uh, resistor on that thing um, so that's what's going on there. Now the other interesting thing is if we look at our current there's 14 milliamps 14.4 somewhere around there and if I stall this motor I'm holding my finger on it, the milliamps don't really climb up I've got it pretty close to about stop let's have a look at it anyways while I have it here so basically I just um, uh, glued these half inch round uh, by one eighth uh, neo magnets. I just glued them with uh, super glue on the uh, disc of the hard drive here and that's just a shaft here of some other motor that I'm just using as a stand to hold this thing so it's kind of loose and uh, there's the uh, switch there so the attraction is, is very minimal there's a good amount of space there that's about one inch, actually exactly one inch between the magnet and that core. So it's a very, very light attraction that's happening. So it takes a while before this motor starts to accelerate. So here you go, uh, I'll, I'll start it up. And if we look at our pulse, uh, it's perfectly straight and clean here at the top. I'll shut the light here again. Have a look at the top again. Perfectly straight. So that's kind of interesting and as you see as the speed is increasing now uh, or the RPM picking up on the motor the uh, you know the the pulse width will get less and less and if we go back and look at our current We've got uh, 
16 uh, milliamps about. So that's kind of interesting, you know, from basically our stop position to full RPM, we only have about uh, 2 milliamps difference. And um, so there's still a little bit of generator effect and uh, but that's pretty good I think for you know an open coil like that now I've got some uh, toroid uh, cores here and here's another ferrite core that I'm gonna wind and test it out with that and uh, hopefully should get you know an interesting kind of orbo result so I call this the gobo uh, motor and uh, for anyone interested, uh, I just thought I'd share this. Been kind of busy lately with uh, some work that's uh, money related and uh, haven't had much time to experiment, but this is something that I put together and will be continuing to experiment with. And I don't know if it has any value, but I uh, thought I'd uh, do a video and share it. So again, here's one more look at the uh, pulse here and uh, what I can do is I can change the time base here so that we uh, are looking at a few more pulses there's a couple of them together and this is the point here where you can see a little bit of the generator effect here here's a dip here there's another dip so and if I pull the plug on the power now you see the dips you know that's the generator effect there which is very minimal and I'll turn it back on here sorry for moving the camera around there okay so I got it connected again and it's starting to accelerate a bit so that's about it for now and uh, thanks for watching